Hey everybody, let's talk about some Armada. Zach Lightman is a high school student just months away from graduation, and he cannot wait. He's an ace at a space invader simulator called Armada, where he's currently ranked 6th in the world. Like most high school boys, Zach wishes for adventure. A zombie apocalypse, robots taking over, or perhaps an alien invasion. One day, a spaceship lands in the front lawn of his high school. Pilots come out and ask for Zach, saying they need him to help save the world. His dreams may be closer to reality than he had previously thought. Armada, published in 2015 by Crown, written by Ernest Klein, is a 368-page book, science fiction, adventure, novel. Right off the bat, let's talk about, um, if you've read Ready Player One, don't go into this book thinking it's going to be as good as that, better than that, that same novel. Um, it does have, you know, it's it's got that, you know, Ernest Klein's only second book, but it's got that Ernest Klein feel. He taps into your, your 80s, um, ref, 80s, 90s references of video games and movies and Star Trek and Space Invaders and anything that you, you know, anything that a nerdy, geeky kid would have done in the 80s and 90s, he, he throws in, he sprinkles that in in this book just like he did in Ready Player One. So you're going to get that, um, which is great. Someone like me, 30 years old, grew up doing all that stuff, playing all those games, watching Star Trek, playing Zelda. I um, think that's great. Taps into our nostalgia. It makes us remember our childhood. It's wonderful. Um, but what was I saying? I don't even remember where I was going with that. But I think what I'm trying to say is don't compare it. Um, when I pre-ordered this book, when I first heard it was coming out, I pre-ordered it, and I tried to not look into what it was going to be about, what people were saying about it. I didn't want to draw any connections. I didn't want to um, disappoint. I didn't want to disappoint my first read of this book because, like I said, I, like I think I said, <laughs> that I didn't want it to. Um, I didn't want to draw connections or parallels. I wanted to read this book and enjoy it for what it was and not be disappointed because it's not as good as Ready Player One, which unfortunately it, it isn't. It isn't as good as Ready Player One. It's still a very, very good book. If you haven't read, read Ready Player One, read this one first. I think that would be a good idea because then when you're finished with this and you enjoy it, you'll go and read Ready Player One and you'll be even, oh, this is amazing. The book's even better than Armada. Holy cow. Wow. And you'll do that sort of thing. And trust me, you'll sound and look just like that. Like I said, don't draw any parallels or conclusions from Ready Player One. Read it. You will enjoy it. It's a wonderful book. It's kind of like um, Ready Player One. No. Scratch that. I mixed up my titles. It's like Ender's Game. Ender's Game mixed with The Last Starfighter. And, you know, your Ready Player One nostalgia, um, 80s, 90s, movie references, all mixed in a dog bowl and splatted on a wall. And that's what Armada is. It's a wonderful read. Four out of five stars, if that's what I'm doing for ratings, because I don't know. <laughs> Four out of five stars. It's a wonderful read. Check it out. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you liked my video, do that thing, subscribe, check out some of my other videos that I'll have coming. I know it's a new channel, I only got a couple things up, but I plan on making some more stuff, filling out the page, you know, more book reviews, movie reviews, stuff like that. Um, play me some video game play, I have no clue. I'll do whatever I feel like that day, and I'll throw it up there and let you guys uh, enjoy it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll check you later. What's it called? Armada by Ernest Klein.